shift our focus uh, to the Jammu and Kashmir. Yet another incident of a civilian being targeted by terrorists in Kashmir. A salesman at a shop in Srinagar was shot dead last evening. He has been identified as Ibrahim Khan. Ibrahim was rushed to the hospital, but uh, he succumbed to his injuries. In fact, post the attack, cops cordoned off the area and also conducted search operations. Right, so another civilian killing which is uh, coming to four in Kashmir and this time a salesman at a shop in Srinagar uh, has been targeted and he was shot dead last evening and he has been identified as Ibrahim Khan. Remember, Ibrahim Khan was rushed to the hospital after this particular attack but uh, uh, sadly he succumbed to his injuries and post this attack, cops cordoned off the entire area where this attack took place and also conducted search operations. However, uh, the hunt for terrorists are still underway and there has been no breakthrough whatsoever. Uh, remember, this comes uh, amid the spate of civilian killings that uh, the uh, Valley of Kashmir has witnessed in the past few months. And uh, this time, a salesman has been shot dead by terrorists in Srinagar. And the name of the deceased is Ibrahim Khan. He was uh, rushed to the hospital after this particular attack, but uh, he was not uh, saved. In fact, uh, post the attack, cops also cordoned off the area and also conducted uh, a search operation. But however, we don't know as of yet what what exactly uh, happened with him as far as uh, the attack is concerned? Who were the people who were behind the attack? In fact, Ishan Bani is with us to give more details on this. So, Ishan, just a few days back, uh, Home Minister of the country, Amit Shah, visited Jammu and Kashmir and it was seen as a clear message amidst the spate of civilian killings. And the message was that common man living in Jammu and Kashmir is protected and is safe. However, yesterday's killing of a cop and now murder of this civilian shows how efforts are being made to undermine that message? Uh, yes, absolutely. Now we have seen that there were several measures taken by the government. So when the Home Minister of Misha came to Kashmir, he chaired meetings. Uh, then uh, there were different policies and different uh, security measures that were discussed during that meeting. And we saw that there was a brief lull. There was no civilian killings happening, no security forces were not targeted at large. Uh, but the day before yesterday, we saw first a cop getting killed outside his house. Then yesterday, a civilian being shot at in uh, Bohri Kadal area of Srinagar city. Now, the shop owner is a Kashmiri pundit who returned to Kashmir uh, two years back and two, three years back and has been not only running the shop, but also running a front called Reconciliation Front. Uh, now, we are also seeing that, uh, you know, these attacks have been increasing in the Srinagar city, because always a priority for the government has been to keep the Srinagar city, uh, you know, safe because it's a city and anything happening in the city will definitely be something as a negative publicity for the government because the government has been saying that all is well in the Kashmir and uh, this particular attack now again is some is a blow to the security grid given the fact that they have been trying to make sure that these things do not happen. Additional companies were rushed to Srinagar city so that there could be an increase in the security cover around this, uh, around these areas which are vulnerable. But yet again, yesterday we saw another killing taking place. One has to see what will the government do because they had already formulated certain strategies. Now, if the continuous killing uh, killings continue like this, it will be hard for them to continue with such strategies, and they will how to actually regroup and rethink about what is happening because we saw a home minister also coming to Valley, chairing a high level security meeting, uh, but nothing coming out of it. Now political parties like Shiv Sena and other political parties are targeting the government that the government is not actually looking at uh, how the situation is not fine in Kashmir Valley and are choosing to look the other way. One has to see uh, that if there will be, you know, any sort of change in the strategy by the security forces. That's right. That's a big question there. Thank you, Ishan. Thank you uh, for sharing all those details in this big